Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Let's have a chat about cash flow. Cash flow, simply put, is your income minus your expenses. Today I want to urge you to consider working for cash flow rather than just cash, sure. Cash is great, but once it's gone, it's gone. On the other hand, cash flow, especially from real estate, comes in every month. And here's the best part. You don't need more per hour. You need more per month without having to provide your own labor to be paid. Imagine this, once you set up a real estate investment and find a loyal tenant, they could stay there for 20, 50 years, removing the um, need for constant maintenance. Cash flow is not just a one-time paycheck. It's a system that can bring wealth. It's no wonder there are so many millionaires in the world who have embraced this concept. Now, let's talk about buying and selling homes. While it may seem lucrative, you have to consider the capital gains tax, which eats into most of your profits. However, investing in rental properties offers a fantastic loophole. As long as you keep reinvesting, you don't have to pay taxes. It's like having a non-taxed job uh, because owning a corporation gets taxed after expenses. Think about it this way. If you have a uh, never-ending supply of expenses, you'll never have none left to be taxed. And that's precisely the difference between the poor and the rich. A man making $50,000 will end up paying more in taxes than a landlord with 10 million in property. Doesn't that make you rethink your current situation? Taxes wouldn't be a burden for just a year, but forever, unless you change your approach. I'm not suggesting you do anything drastic, but if you don't consider becoming a landlord, odds are you'll spend your entire life making the same amount you do right now. Take control of your financial future and pursue cash flow. It's an opportunity to create lasting wealth. Employees might say, yeah, but that's risky. But let me tell you, what's truly risky is living life without doing this. It's risky to be poor when you're 65 and can no longer work. It's risky to think that you can't do it. It's risky just being alive. Crossing the street is risky. You say it's a gamble. Well, guess what? All of life is a gamble. It's a gamble whether you're born poor or wealthy. But let's face it, the odds are more likely that you'll be poor. Only about 1% of people are wealthy and the rest struggle their whole lives. It's like being a player on the field or someone who just watches the game from the sidelines. There are two types of people, those who do and those who do nothing. You might tell yourself, I've worked my whole career. I can't do that. But imagine how it feels to be broke, still alive and breathing, while kids on TikTok are crushing your financial status. The internet and the wealth of information are right at your fingertips. Everything that was meant to be a secret is somewhere on the net for free. Do you want the regret of never trying or the regret of wasting your life away? Kids are not the only reason you were born. You were born to have a dream or a goal. And it's your duty. To make it come true. It will be hard, but it's probably more important than anything else you could do. We only have one life, and that's probably it. Is it really worth it? Just being a Joe somebody, when you could be a literal king? Your comfort zone is nice. But you need to get. Comfortable. Being uncomfortable. Get a vision and go after it. This plan will give you anything you can imagine. All you need to do is map it out in ink and go for it. That's it. 